All right, what we're going to do now is cut an offset. We're going to use a 15 degree, which gives us a 30 degree offset. They can be made on 45, but it's a lot easier when you use a 15 degree. And that's what this template is, 15 degrees. We're going to cut it there. We're going to cut it again over here. So. What's easy when you use a 15 degree? You run a 15 degree across the duct like this. And you move down here and you gotta cut another one. It's gonna be the same way. You remember in the elbows, we cut them opposite. On the offsets, they go the same direction. Whatever the dimension of the offset, which we'll say is gonna be a six inch offset, we'll put double in between these lines. So whatever the offset is, all you have to do is double it and put it in between the lines. If it was 24 inches, would have put 48 inches between these lines. But that's how you, you make a 15 degree offset. I'm going to use this square again. Set it right on the table. Draw a line up. It's like here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. When I'm working on it, I'll take these lines as I'm turning the duct and I draw them up. So when I take and drop the duct down, I can tell where them lines are at. And I bring them back up to the top and I actually draw a line there too. Now if you notice, I can't see these lines. So I bring the duck up and I'm, I draw the lines out where I can see them. And now I can see the lines all the way across. And I just take a straight edge and connect these two together. Now that I got it laid out all the way around the duck, I can use a knife and cut them straight through the duck and make them butt edge. But there's a tool that's made to make a male and a female joint, and this is it here by Glassmaster. Actually, uh, Amcraft makes a, a brown one. I always set it on the ends of the duct so I got my male and females going the same direction. This will set here like this. What I do is I take and cut the facing first. Then I take this tool, and then if you notice, this blade is right off this bend, so I can put that bend right there, and I can feel it go in, and just shove it across. Keep the tool down on the duct, so it'll cut all the way through the inch and a half board. Now, <clears throat> I'm just gonna roll the duct over. I'm gonna do this side the same way. And I just take a knife and cut the facing. And you do that for two reasons. One of them is it's hard to cut the facing and everything with this blade. But once you have that facing cut, I don't have to look over the tool and follow that. It'll follow right in that groove. Okay, I kept the tool right down on the board. Now I'm going to take and cut down the sides and what I do is I line my knife up in that groove but I can't cut down through it because there's a male and a female in there so I go out into that groove and I come back and go underneath it. <coughs> As I go, cut down you notice that knife is not on a 90 degree straight up and down it's on that same miter that 15 degree. Again, see how I put the knife out there to set my hand for that 15 degree and then come back and go underneath it. 
and you pull it apart. I pop these corners off here before I go putting the duct together. Because what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to flip this piece of duct over, and then all I got to do is shove these back together. All right, I'll take them and put a piece of tape across here to miter, across these miters so it'll hold it together while I'm taping it. You notice that the tape goes over about an inch, inch and a half, and it's centered right on that miter. Again, I put the tab on there to hold it together. And when you tape it, put it right over the center of that miter. Let it drop over a little bit. Because this, when you take this out to the job site or when you're on the job site and you're carrying it over to where you're going to install it, you might hit them corners and this makes them corners a little bit stronger if you let that tape go over some. These here, I'll just tape them, press tabs like that. Put a tape tab on them. Do the same thing on this side. So I used 15 degrees and put a du doubled the offset and put it between these two lines and the offset comes out without any problem. This is a six inch offset, I put 12 inches in between them. There's your six inches. 